Hi, and welcome to the Nonprofit Partnerships presentation on setting up Google Grants. We're going to take you through step-by-step -step on how to set up Google Grants for your organization. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we start the Google Grants sign-up process, it's important that you know whether you're eligible for Google Grants. The simplest way to find out whether you are eligible for Google Grants is to go to Google and do a quick search for Google Grants eligibility. Once you have searched for Google Grants eligibility, a series of listings will show. The simplest way to get to where you need to be is to click on Nonprofit Eligibility for Grants. After you click on the Nonprofit Eligibility for Grants listing, you'll be taken to a page with information that's very similar to what you see here. What this is is a series of eligibility criteria you must meet to be a part of the Google Grants program. Please take a few moments to read through it and ensure that you're eligible for Google Grants. If you've made it this far, that means you're eligible for the Google Grants program. Congratulations. We're going to move on to setting up a new Gmail now. Even if you or your organization already has a Gmail account, we highly recommend you create a new one specifically for the Google Grants program. Now let's walk through how you create a new Gmail. For those of you who do not have a Gmail account, we're going to take you through step by step on how to set up a Gmail account. When you go to Google, you'll see in the top right corner a red sign up button. You're going to want to go ahead and click that. For those of you who have a Gmail account and are signed in, we're going to ask you to sign back out. When you sign back out, in the top right corner, you're more than likely going to see a blue sign in button. Go ahead and click that. When you click either of those buttons, you're going to be taken to this page. When you get there, click the Add Account button. After you've pressed the Add Account button, you're going to be on this page. Go ahead and click Create Account. After you've pressed Create Account, you're going to be on this page. Simply fill out the information and a new Gmail account will be created. It's best practice to create a brand new Gmail with a name such as your nonprofit name plus marketing at gmail.com or your nonprofit plus grants at gmail.com. This way, everything is separated and more easily manageable. Next, we're going to show you how the rest of the process is going to go. Before we jump into the step-by-step -step Google Grants sign-up process, we want to give you a high-level overview of what to expect. The first thing you're going to do is sign up for Google for Nonprofits. Once that's complete, you're going to start the Google Grants sign-up process. The issue here is about halfway through, you're going to have to exit the Google Grants sign-up process and create an AdWords account. The reason for this is because you need a customer ID, something you can only get from creating an AdWords account. Once you get your customer ID, you can finish the Google Grants sign-up process. We know this can seem a bit tedious, but at the end of all this, you're going to get $10,000 a month in free advertising spend from Google Grants. With that in mind, let's go ahead through the step-by-step -step Google Grants sign-up process. Let's start off by signing up for Google for Nonprofits. It's a simple application form that asks for your charity ID and important information about your nonprofit. The simplest way to sign up is to go to Google and do a quick search for Google for Nonprofits. The listing we're looking for should be near the top. Once you've clicked on it, you'll be taken to a page similar to this. All you got to do to start the application process is to click the Join the Program button in the top right corner. Once you've clicked the Join the Program button, you'll be taken to this page. It simply tells you about some of the perks of signing up for Google for Nonprofits. If you're ready to move forward, Click the Apply to Google for Nonprofits button. Once you've clicked on Apply for Google for Nonprofits, you'll be taken to this page. It is the first form in the membership application for Google for Nonprofits. It simply asks you some information about your nonprofit status and requests your employer ID. Why don't you take a few moments to fill this page out? Once you have finished with that part of the form, you'll be taken here. This form simply asks you some basic information about your organization, including the mission statement. It's important that when filling out the organization website, you use the URL of your homepage. Once you're finished with that part of the form, you'll be taken to the third and final part of the application. Simply fill out your personal contact information and your communication preferences and submit the application. Once you've done this, you will have completed the Google for Nonprofits application process. Once you've submitted your application, it's really just a waiting game. You should receive a decision within two to three business days. While you're waiting, you can sign into your Google for Nonprofits account at any time to check the status of your application. 
Let's go ahead and see how the rest of the process is going to unfold. Once you're approved for Google for Nonprofits, you will receive an email notifying you. And your status will be changed to Approved in your Google for Nonprofits account. Once you're approved for Google for Nonprofits, we're ready to move on to the next step, signing up for Google Grants. To start the Google Grants sign-up process, log into your Google for Nonprofits account. A button will now appear that reads either Product Enrollment or Sign Up Now. Go ahead and click on it. Once you've clicked on that button, you will be taken to a page that looks like this. Simply click on the Enroll button under the Google Ad Grants. After you've clicked Enroll, you'll be taken to a page that's very similar to this. You will see a series of questions with checkboxes that you will need to eventually check. Please make a note of each of these items, as they will become important later in the process. At this point, we are ready to temporarily leave the Google Grants sign-up process and begin the Google AdWords sign-up process. It's important to note that you should keep the page you were just on open. Simply open up a new tab to create an AdWords account. Let's go ahead and see how to create an AdWords account. At this point, we're going to start the Google AdWords sign-up process. The simplest way to get to Google AdWords is to go to Google and do a quick search for Google AdWords. It should be one of the top listings. Once you've clicked on it, you'll see a page like this. To start the sign up process, simply click Start Now. Once you've pressed Start Now, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. It simply asks you for two pieces of information, your email address and your website. Make sure you use the same email address for this as your newly created Gmail. Also, ensure that you use the URL of your home page when you're filling out the website section. Once you've completed this, simply press continue. At this point, you're going to see a page like this. This is where you're going to create your first campaign. We're now going to show you how to complete these items one by one. At this point in creating your campaign, you're simply going to give your campaign a name. We suggest that you name it volunteering. After you've filled out your campaign name, we're going to focus on a few more specific things regarding the type of campaign you're running. It's really important that you have search network only. If you don't have this, your campaign will not run. It's also important that you have standard checked. In the or load settings from section, it's most likely going to default to existing campaigns. Do not touch this at this point. In the network section, ensure that Google search network is checked. However, uncheck the Include Search Partner section. At this point, we're going to move on to the Location section. If you're in the United States, Google recommends that you check both the United States and Canada. At this point, we're going to set up your bidding. Make sure that for your bid strategy, you have I'll manually set my bids for clicks checked. Ensure that your default bid is $2 and your budget is $329 per day. This setup is recommended by Google. Once you have pressed save and continue, you will have completed setting up your campaign. Now you're going to create an ad group for that campaign. If you don't know what an ad group is, that's really okay. As you begin more familiar with setting up campaigns and ad groups, this will all make a lot more sense. We're now going to go through step by step on how to set up your ad group for your campaign. Much like setting up a campaign, the first thing you're going to do for your ad group is give it a name. We suggest you name it the same thing as your campaign, volunteering. Once you've named your ad group, you're going to move on to creating an ad. There are six important things you have to do when creating an ad. The first one is, is your ad has to be a text ad. The reason for this is because if it isn't, it won't be eligible for the Google Grants program. From there, you're going to set up your headline. We simply named ours volunteering. After that, you're going to set up description line one and description line two. Then, you're going to set up your display URL. This should simply just be the home page of your website. And finally, you're going to set up your final URL. This is the page that you want people to go to. Most likely, it should have something to do with volunteering. Now that you know how to set up and create an ad, we're going to move on to choosing keywords. It's important to note that in this section, when choosing keywords, you want to use keywords that people are actually looking for online. To make this simple, we just chose volunteering for now. You can always come back and add more keywords and change things in this section later. Now let's move on to the bidding section. Now that you've finished choosing your keywords, you can move on to setting your maximum cost per click. 
It's recommended that you set this to $2. Please do not set it higher than $2 or else your ad will not be eligible. Once this is done, you can submit and move forward to the billing section. It is critical that you skip the billing section. This is the number one mistake people make in applying for Google Grants. Never enter any credit card info, even if it asks for it. If you do, you'll be setting up a standard paid account, not a grants account, and you'll have to start the whole process over again. Once you've skipped the billing section, you will then see a page like this. In the top right corner will be your customer ID. This is the ID you will need to finish the Google Grants sign-up process. At this point, you now have your customer ID, so it's time to go back to the Google Grants sign-up process and complete it. Remember that tab we told you to leave open earlier? We're going to need you to go back there and complete the enrollment page. Simply check each one of those boxes. When you're finished with that, click Next. After you've completed the enrollments page, you will be on a page that's similar to this. Simply fill out your AdWords customer ID and write a 300 to 500 word description on how you're going to use AdWords for your organization. Once you've done that, you've completed the Google Grants signup process. At this point, you've completed the Google Grants signup process. Congratulations. Now it's really just a waiting game. Google will get back to you within 10 to 30 days. But if you filled out all the forms properly and there are no errors, it may be quicker. So keep an eye on your inbox. This brings us to the conclusion of our presentation on how to set up Google Grants for your organization. We want to thank you for joining us today. We hope that it was informative and encourage you to watch again. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the nonprofit partnership.